Howdy homesteaders! We've got some exciting news for you today. But first... <laughs> I want to go ahead and talk about some of these tools that we got. Uh, we got these really nice tools. This is a weeding, weeding tool right here. Now, this is excellent for uh, cutting out weeds. My so favorite. It's really good for that. And we also have this really good tool right here, good for cutting grooves and just breaking up the dirt and uh, leveling dirt a little bit, all kinds of things you can do with this thing. Bringing out weeds. Yeah. All right, let's see how this thing right here works. This thing just grabs a hold of the weeds and just cuts them out. It's crazy how well this thing works. I Man, I just cleared out that whole area right there. It didn't take me no time at all. So that's really good. It's made by Homestead Iron. And these are uh, hand forged and made to last. Made to last. My favorite shovel. We'll use a trencher. Every now and then on the homestead, you got to do a little hard work. Or actually, I wouldn't really call this hard work. Oregano! I don't need to be in there. fill it all the way up. It's just going to make it too heavy. Have to make sure that you got some kind of cloth in here to keep the dirt from coming out the bottom, which is all this cloth is really for, just to keep the dirt from falling out the bottom. That uh, you spread the dirt over evenly and you kind of position it exactly the way you want it before you start burying it deep. The adjustments you want to make, you want to make those right now. Now, some of this stuff. This is a uh, garden soil we've used before. And some of it's got like root balls and stuff in it. If you break those up and put them in there, it's not going to be a big deal. If anything, you're, you're adding organic matter, matter to the soil, and it's just going to break down over time. There's nothing that's been in this uh, dirt that's been questionable or anything that really needs to break down. Uh, anything in here can actually compost as you go. So it doesn't have to be fully composted. There was no uh, cow manure or something like that that needed to, nothing that needs to be broke down. Just some old root balls. And these parsley. But we just pick those out as we go. We 
need to, if we need to, we've got quality garden soil in the garage, and we can layer that on top if we need it. Good and go with that. So at this point, we're gonna switch over. All right, we're here with Miss K, <laughs> and she's gonna plant some of these herb plants for us. This is time. Oh, wow, it's starting to get root bound. Yeah, they good. We'll say it's time to plant the thyme. Don't be afraid to rough it up a little bit, you're not, unless you're extremely crazy with it, you're not going to hurt them. I used to be really afraid, I used to go like that and be afraid I was going to hurt them, but... But thank you for bringing it up here anyways, I appreciate that. And it did really well too. This was just a little sprig of oregano that had, um, the original plant had died and a seed had dropped and started a little baby. It was only that big. And it's gotten this big over the summer. Really healthy roots. There we go. Oh, I like this tool. <laughs> Comes in handy. It's like a like another extension or something. I am loving this tool. It's like another arm. I should have had one of these years ago. Uh, I like it. So uh, I, I said we had some big news, and of course you already know about the big news as us going to the uh, Homesteaders of America conference. And I just want to bring that up again, and I'm going to put the uh, website below. And we're going to be at the Homesteaders of America conference mm -hmm. in Virginia. Is that Front Royal, Virginia? Mm -hmm. Front Royal, Virginia. And I think it's October 12th and 13th. Mm -hmm. Does that sound right? Yeah, I do believe so. Yeah. If not, we'll correct it on the screen. And uh, we're going to be there. And we're really excited because, uh, you know, Joe Salatin's going to be there. Um, Justin Rhodes is going to be there. Uh, off grid with Doug and Stacy, a whole bunch of other people are going to be there. M.I. Gardner. You know who I'm excited? Who's that? Uh, Bandana Grandma. Yep, Bandana Grandma is going to be there. She's going to have a booth. She's not speaking, but she's going to have a booth. And I've ta um, talked to her on and off on right. the internet, and I'm excited to meet her. Yeah, we're not speaking either. <laughs> we yeah. just have a booth. We have a booth. But I, I imagine that there's probably going to be a lot of uh, homesteading YouTube uh, channels there so it's going to be a definitely exciting event to go to and we we're looking forward to that and then another thing I wanted to share is recently I've come uh, across some information about uh, finding a platform you know other than YouTube so we are looking out for some other options and uh, we are currently transporting our channel and we're moving it over to BitTube. Yes, that's right. Uh, we're moving everything over to BitTube. And you can find our channel at uh, 
dot bit dot tube forward slash micro farm starter so if you just type in bit dot tube forward slash micro farm starter that would bring you right here to my page and as you see when you get here uh, pretty much all the same videos that I have on YouTube are on here now and they might not be in the proper order uh, but if you do want to watch uh, all my videos in the order that they happened uh, all my past videos I do have a playlist and I call that the first 51 videos in order and if you watch that it, it, it plays every single one of the videos in order and you know a good thing about doing that is if you got time to uh, to sit and watch the videos and you want to kind of like learn our story uh, as it unfolds you can do that and it might take several hours and I understand uh, we don't always have that kind of time uh, but a good thing is is that while you're watching videos you're actually earning cryptocurrency by watching videos as long as you have an account and you have your wallet activated and once your wallet is activated and you have an account then any videos that you watch you're gonna get cryptocurrency for watching those videos so basically watching videos like what you normally would like to do anyway uh, watching good homesteading videos and uh, learning about our story uh, you actually get paid in cryptocurrency you know the more minutes you watch the more currency that you earn and it really helps us too because then we also earn cryptocurrency by you watching our videos. And, you know, I understand cryptocurrency is, is difficult to understand. I don't really fully understand it myself. It can be complicated and confusing. And if you'd rather not um, have anything to do with cryptocurrency, that's fine. Uh, but still, I would encourage you to start an account anyway so that you would still get the cryptocurrency anyway and if even if you don't want to spend it yourself or you don't want to go to the trouble of getting it uh, exchanged for Bitcoin and then get the Bitcoin exchanged for American dollars just so you can spend it. If you don't want to go through all of those steps, I understand. Uh, but just generate the cryptocurrency and you can actually uh, tip it to my channel. Oh, I got a telephone call. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going alright. Uh, I hate to do this, man, but we're going to call you off again today, man. It's another day where we're so slow. We only need really the call to drive or anything. Oh, wow. Well, alright then. So, we only got $100 so far. Alrighty. I guess I'll right. <laughs> just chill out here then. Alright, man. Sorry. Right. We'll see you in a couple days or so. Or uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm supposed to come in tomorrow unless things happen. Okay. Alright, yeah. may maybe I'll be in tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> yeah, alright, man. Alrighty. Alright, bye bye. If you go to a video on my list and you click where it says tip channel anything that's in your wallet you can go ahead and tip all of the cryptocurrency that's in your wallet to my channel if you didn't want to deal with the hassle of the cryptocurrency you can just tip it all to my channel and then that helps us because I don't mind going through the hassle of uh, converting it over to to actual money uh, so I don't mind doing that but it's just another way that you can support uh, homesteading channels. And I would even encourage other homesteaders out there to uh, create channels on BitTube. Uh, especially if you're a small channel and you're still trying to find a way to get monetized. You're still trying to find a way to get support. Uh, just by getting views, even as a small channel, you're going to be earning cryptocurrency. And whenever I watch other videos, if I were to watch other homesteading videos... I would be earning cryptocurrency for watching other homesteaders videos so if the whole homesteading community were to move their videos over here and we started to develop a homesteading community on BitTube and then we could all watch each other's videos and then all of us could be earning cryptocurrency all at the same time and there's a lot of people on BitTube that just watch uh, videos just for the sake of videos and there's all kinds of like three hour long videos that all it is is just a, a, a bunch of music and people just listen to music or it's just a bunch of meaningless nonsense. Uh, and the only purpose that they're doing it for 
is to just earn the cryptocurrency. And, you know, I don't know. I guess you could do that. I think that's incredibly boring. And I think it defeats the purpose. It really defeats the purpose. I mean, the purpose is to have a place for content creators where the content, content creators can earn an income. And not only can the creators earn an income, but so can the viewers can earn an income. And the viewers could decide to uh, give their cryptocurrency to their the creator that they like to watch. So it's just, a, to me, I think it's just a beautiful system, the way it all works. And I think it'd be really good for the homesteading community uh, as far as the content creators. So I just wanted to uh, explain this real quick and uh, just encourage you that uh, all my videos of the past are on here, uh, except for a few that I need to re-upload. And any new ones I put up from now on, the long, uh, unedited, at least not edited as much, versions, the long versions are going to be on here. That way, if you watch the longer version, like say, if I have a 45-minute video, not only do you get more information, but you're able to earn more cryptocurrency by watching that longer video. And I'm just going to put the shorter videos on YouTube. That's bit.tube forward slash microfarmstarter. We are not a big enough channel on YouTube to be monetized, uh, so we have no way of earning an income from these videos. Another way you can support us is you can look at our YouTube page, and you'll notice that if you look down in the description, uh, we actually have a t-shirt store where you can actually buy uh, t-shirts or hoodies or even a coffee cup from clicking on this link right here. Uh, so we have our own uh, t-shirt store you can go ahead and get that there and that will also definitely help to support us and hopefully their designs uh, on our t-shirts and our hoodies and our uh, coffee cups are, are a design that you like and you like wearing that so that's another way of supporting us another way of supporting us is we also have a direct link to our PayPal so if you click on the PayPal link right here uh, you can actually uh, just donate to our channel. Uh, so if you believe it, what we're doing, you can also uh, support us there. But we would appreciate any support uh, that you could give, whether uh, by directly giving through PayPal, uh, buying one of the t-shirts, hoodies, or coffee cups, or just simply by watching us on BitTube and then donating the uh, cryptocurrency to us. Uh, whatever way that you have that you can support us is greatly appreciated. Uh, we would want nothing more than to do this full time. So uh, thank you so much. And there are ways where you can help us to succeed as a channel, as a uh, content creator. And really, you know, it's more than just being homesteaders. Uh, yeah, we want to be homesteaders and we want to encourage. We want to encourage others to be homesteaders. That's the big thing is encouraging others. I mean, here we're learning a lot of these things for the first time. And if we learn things for the first time and we can get through it, then that should encourage you that, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. You know, if they can uh, plant a couple uh, plants on their back porch, I can plant a couple plants on my back porch. And it's to encourage others. And, uh, you know, so it's really that. And, and even more than that, uh, we are content creators. You know, I, I put a lot of thought into these videos, uh, especially if I try to get creative or funny. Uh, I've put a lot of thought into them. i put a lot of work into the editing. And uh, I don't want to stop doing that. I want to continue to put out great content. I want to continue to bring out things that are going to educate you, uh, things that are going to entertain you, uh, make you laugh, uh, you know, things that we can all enjoy together, things that we can all enjoy together. And, you know, I believe that everything we're putting out is family entertainment. It's uh, things that the entire family can watch. And get something out of, you know, if you got a lot of information and it's boring, you know, what do you think the likelihood of your children watching it really is, right? But if you do things to keep it interesting and even fun or even funny, right, uh, then maybe uh, your children will be able to watch it and get through it and learn a couple things along the way. 
So those are some of the things we're trying to do, and we're trying to edify. Uh, we're trying to build up physically here uh, as a homestead, also trying to uh, build up our knowledge and to build up spiritually. We're up spiritually. So we're trying to build up on so many different levels, and if you value that and you want that to continue. Right now we are really going through a really tough time. Uh, I've been putting in for a lot of jobs, filling out applications, sending in resumes. And I got to tell you, I've never had this difficult of a time trying to find a job. I mean, I really have never had this hard of a time uh, to try to find employment anywhere, uh, let alone since I've been uh, here in Kentucky. Uh, so what I've had to do is in desperation, I... Uh, got a job as a pizza delivery driver and as you heard earlier on the phone and I, I don't mind sharing that with you uh, it's just a reality of the situation uh, I was scheduled to go into work tonight and I depend upon that job uh, to help pay off my bills so it's not good news that I get the night off um, I was looking forward to going in uh, taking some deliveries earning some tips and using that money to uh, pay off uh, the bills that I'm really struggling to pay. Uh, but then I'm not able to come to work uh, because they're not busy enough. So they send me, they, they, they tell me to stay home. And I can't make any money by staying home. So uh, I re we really need help. Uh, any support that you could help uh, support us with uh, would really greatly be appreciated. Uh, right now, we're still trying to uh, sell our property. And once we get our property sold, things would be a lot easier. Uh, things would be a lot easier once we do that. But until we get over that hurdle, uh, right now I'm struggling just to make the mortgage payment. And if I don't make the mortgage payment, uh, the last thing I want to have happen is have everything go into foreclosure. So I'm going to continue to put out applications. I'm going to continue to put in resumes. And, and hopefully I'll get an interview. And hopefully I'll get a job soon that pays a little bit more than what I'm making at the pizza job, which is highly unreliable. Uh, it's unreliable. It, it's not going to make enough money. Uh, it's unreliable. I need to find something that's a steady job, and that's what I'm trying to do. So uh, any help that you could give us would really be appreciated. Thank you. So these homesteading videos are going to be uh, going to become part-time. And as that becomes part-time, uh, one or two things are going to happen. Either uh, I'm going to do less videos, which I'll probably do less videos. I don't see any way around that. I don't see I can do the same number of videos and 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 still and still work and do everything else I need to do. So uh, I'm just going to have less videos, and I'm not going to be able to put as much into the editing. So they might not be as interesting. <laughs> uh, so uh, please keep up with us, and, and uh, the more you like our videos, uh, you click on the little thumbs up, click on the like. Uh, on our videos uh, that helps us the more views we get helps us if you share our videos on your social media and you share our videos on your Facebook and, and on on your pages so a whole new realm of people can watch them uh, that helps out as well uh, so uh, the faster we can get subscribers uh, and more views uh, then we can start getting monetized on YouTube and then maybe we'll be able to be in a place that makes sense uh, for doing this full time, and that's what that's what we would rather do is uh, to be freed up to do things like this uh, all the time. So I hope this has uh, been encouraging, and I hope this has been educating. And uh, keep watching.